Los Angeles is home to the largest Iranian expat community in the world. But the conspicuous wealth on show here is in stark contrast with life in Iran, where almost a decade of sanctions has crippled the economy. This Iranian woman asked not to be identified, concerned about how the authorities back home might react. She goes there often to visit family and, like many other Iranians, hopes the election of Hassan Rouhani will bring more reforms and less sanctions. With the arrival of Mr. Rouhani, they think many things will improve, many good things will happen, and everything will get better. Many in the Iranian-American community here in California are also optimistic about the chance for change. Farshad Farahad was criticized in Iran for his role as the interrogator in the film Argo. But the actor believes the power is back in the hands of the public, and Rouhani's election will make it easier for him to visit his homeland and one day act there. That's why I feel safer, because the people are involved. So soon, if I made a movie here that most Iranians don't like or like, whatever, I can go there and give my opinion, hear their opinion, and neither the regime or the people or me will feel insecure. I'm hoping that's the atmosphere is that is created, and it can only be created when people are involved in their government. But in the neighborhood of L.A., dubbed Tehrangelis, older immigrants who left Iran are skeptical the regime will really change. I'm saying if there is even a change, it will take one or two generations, you know, for the people to recover. Most Iranian Americans, regardless of whether or not they believe it'll actually happen, do hope that Rouhani will bring change. Even many of those who have been in America for decades yearn to be able to return and retire in their native country. Suzanne Kianpour, BBC News, Los Angeles.